where do you get started? Is it with a tool? Is it with one of the many processes that we all know we used in our in our sales process, outbound, you know, pipeline management, opportunity management, whatever, wherever it may be. Where where do you get started? What's the what's the first thing? And then I would I would also just say if you want to add to that, like, has anybody seen the 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 sort of um, ideal situation where you're like this you know it you need to have if you really want to be firing on all cylinders you've got this 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 and that's like the the most you know badass sales stack you can have to like run your operation but give me a sense of when you get started where where would you get started again maybe you've got some tools maybe you're using them a little bit any size organization maybe you know a smaller size but where where do you where do you look first in terms of developing this practice and, and what part of the sales process and, and what type of technologies supporting them? Like where, where do you, where does your head go? I, I actually lean back on something James said, which I thought was really powerful, which it comes back down to the people and the, and the process. And, and so a lot of people, you know, ask, how do you scale up an org? And from a RevOps perspective, how do I build out a company from the ground floor? And I think that the, that, that scalability, the size and scope, it necessitates different things at different times. And when I talk about that evolution, I say stage one is everyone's an AE, everyone's an SDR. People are hitting the phones. People are trying to find ideal market fit. They're trying to define their, their initial process. And so I think a much lighter weight stack um, is, is great at that time because you're really trying to do this exploration. And you it's not about scalability. It's more about discovery of who our client is. And then I think once you start to build out dedicated uh, SDR motions, there's, there's an efficiency level of having tools like automation for engagement and email, uh, having dialers that log calls and give you insights around um, call activity. Um, and then once you start hitting the phones, that conversational intelligence piece comes in and starting to drive more coaching your reps and growing their abilities and training and coaching them. And then I think you get into the richer, deeper engagement. I think about you know, Yuri mentioned SMS and, and like, I think about things like Vidyard or Loom and video selling, there's, there's ways to enhance that. But if you don't have that core process, you don't have product market fit, you don't understand your target market and your persona, you're going to be blasting the world with noise and not using that initial phase to really seek to understand who your target is and how to sell to them well, before you turn the dial up. 